This is Mesa. Swazdola, peasants. How the hell are ya? Let's talk about Mesa, the wild wild pest gunslinger. Now before I even get started on this frame, allow me to piss off some Naraman rhinos first. If you happen to be a rhino man, you might want to cover your ears. You see, this discount Billy the Kid is a tank. Allow me to repeat. Mesa. Is. A. Tank. Fight me. Before we get to that though, let's go over her passive abilities. When you play Mesa, you will gain a fire rate increase of 10% to any dual wielded pistols. Single hand pistols gain 50% reload speed and should you go full mad lad mode and not equip any melee weapons, you will gain 50% health. I don't know how that is supposed to make any kind of sense but okay whatever. First ability. Did someone say one shot? Hold my beer. Upon activating this ability, Mesa will start to store a portion of all dealt damage. Indicated down here. It will max out at 100 meaning you have gained the maximum of bonus damage. You can then recast the ability and the next single shot you fire after that, will have a fixed amount of extra damage added to it. Keep in mind this bonus will only apply to the first bullet you fire and then reset. So if you are using an assault rifle, only the first bullet will have the extra effects. On shotguns that use buckshots, only one of the many pellets fired will carry the damage bonus. On beam weapons it's a little weird and cool at the same time. You see, if you discharge a fully charged beam weapon on an enemy, the entire clip will hold the bonus damage as long as you do not lose your target. This effect can best be exploited, ahem I mean utilized with the Atomos since it will easily chain between douchebags. But in my opinion, you are better off with single shot weapons or grenade launchers. One more noteworthy behavior about this ability, damage over time effects, like the gas clouds from the Mutalist Cernos or the Torrid will also adopt the added bonus. Which means you can activate the ability, fire an AoE projectile and kick back and relax and let the damn thing fill itself up. Should you then release a fully charged area of effect weapon, the resulting gas AoE damage will receive the buff as well. Next up. Ring of Elysium. <sighs> Cephalon, did you really just shamelessly advertise a totally free to play game that everybody should totally try out because I fell in love with it or something? Did you really just do that? No. Anyway, Mesa casts a stupid lasso around herself that will buff her weapons for the entire duration of the ability. On top of that, the lasso will lash out at up to three punks at a time every one and a half seconds and gem their weapons thus completely incapacitating them. Even melee douchebags are affected with the regular stun. As you may know, an enemy that cannot touch you also cannot kill you and thus you are kinda god mode. You're welcome. Furthermore, this lasso will also apply to your teammates and rotate through them one by one granting each with the effect for the individual durations. This means for example, if your ability has a max duration of 30 seconds, then that time is divided by the number of teammates on your squad. So each will get the bonus for 10 seconds. Since this ability rotates through every teammate, I advise you to stay within the same rooms around Mesa to crowd control the maximum amount of fools at a time and thus benefit the entire team as a whole. Personally I like to go even further and use the augment muzzle flash. This will blind everything around the team made in an 8 meter radius before the ability switches to the next player. Next ability. Rhino can suck it. This will essentially grant you an iron skin knockoff. Mesa gains an energy shield that will deflect up to 95% of all incoming damage back to the enemies it came from. In some cases the damage can be reflected to a different enemy but that does not matter one bit. Naturally, this is kinda shitty if you intend on dealing damage with this. However the damage reduction on Squishy Billy the Squid, will greatly increase your survivability. 
Additionally, I love to use the Augment Staggering Shield. With this, your reflected bullets will have a 50% chance to stagger the enemy source and thus, giving you even more crowd control ability. BTW, if you want to max out the damage resistance here, all you need is a power strength of at least 119%. More will not increase your damage reduction further. But less will not allow you to cap out at its full potential. So keep that in mind. Moving on. Aimbot Simulator aka Cowboy Pew Pew. Mesa whips out your exclusive regulator pistols and goes batshit crazy matrix mode on anything in line of sight. Upon activation, you will enter peacemaker mode and must hold the fire button to start shooting some shit up. You will notice a large targeting ring while in this stage. Mesa will automatically target anything and everything within this targeting ring of doom as you fire, a few things will happen. 1. The ring will shrink down in size but therefore increase its damage. 2. The fire rate will also gradually increase to the point of absurdity. While in Bruce Willis mode, Mesa will drain energy. So I really cannot recommend using this ability excessively or for long periods of time. Also, you will need to keep in mind that your sissy ass is susceptible to damage and you cannot move while doing so which can become a problem on higher levels. However you can cast this ability while in the air and often finish of douchebags before you even touch the ground. Now I will spare you with the tedious mathematics behind how the regulator pistol damage is calculated to avoid confusion. Here is my regulator build. You can use pretty much any modifications you want except Acolyte and Syndicate mods. I'm using dual status mods so I can force more status procs and help the increased slash damage from MAME to occur as often as possible. Surely you will find your own build that you might prefer. The last tip I will give you about Mesa's fourth ability is that you should make sure you only activate it while 2 and 3 are also active. That will increase your tankiness quite a bit but also buff your damage output a little. Well then. That's all you need to know about Mesa in order to play her decently. Keep in mind her prime version is around the corner and might receive some changes. If that happens, I will provide you guys with the follow-up video which will be linked at the end of this one. Before we end this, here is my current Mesa build. As you can see, it is nothing too crazy so you should have no trouble replicating this exact build but of course, you can and totally should experiment and find your own build that might work better for you. So let's quickly recap. Mesa is moderately engaging to play but also super easy to master. You can and probably should continuously charge up your first ability to quickly eat heavy punks out of existence. You will also always want to keep your 2 and 3 active at all times to be almost unkillable and benefit the entire team. You should use Mace's 4th ability only on large hordes to dispose of them swiftly and save energy. If you are not the stalker's target, you can use Peacemaker on him too and make him disappear faster than a $20 bill on the street. At super high levels, Mesa will begin to suffer due to lack of damage but you can bypass that with a decent team very easily. So then, Tenos. If you are wondering what to do next, allow me to refer you to Professor Sir Reginald Meatbeard Wellington of Oxford University. In my expert opinion, I do believe you should like and subscribe to this shitty channel. Fuck off. <laughs> yes, it's quite good.